Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm so excited today. I have one of my good friends. It's Dr. Paul, Dr. Chen. And we've been knowing each other for quite a while now. And I invited him on my channel today to talk about skincare. Besides using skincare, what else can you do to make your skin better, healthier? And let's get started. Okay, so Paul, introduce you to my fans. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chen, and I'm very happy here today with Dr. Mr. Oh. I'm actually with Mr. <laughs> Chen, or you are. I wish I was a doctor. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, a no. shopping doctor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um. So we're here to talk about your skin and mm -hmm. how you can care for your skin without even putting on anything on your face. Yeah. Okay, so there are things we can do. The first thing we can do is we can eat healthily. So all the food that we can eat that has lot and lot of antioxidants and um, these antioxidants or amino acids that you search from your food they can actually help you repair your skin and make you look healthier. Really? I didn't know yes. that. Yes, so um, for antioxidants like vegetables and fruits are very very good source of antioxidants. Uh, fruits with uh, darkest uh, colors like purple or blue, like blueberry, blueberry plum. plum. So those with dark, um, really, really dark colored um, outer exteriors, purple, blue, or uh, red, uh, like tomatoes and uh, apple, and other um, yellow. Yellow color is another good choice. Uh, it has very good vitamin B complex and also a lot of vitamin C within a um, yellow colored fruit. So these um, antioxidants that you're taking in, you will actually reflect uh, in your health because nice. as you get rid of all this um, oxidation with inside or free radicals, um, you, you get rid of those inside your body, your skin, your body will feel a little bit healthier. Mm. And because it feels a little bit healthier, you will appear Healthy. healthy yes and of course skin needs to repair itself so you need to give all the substance your skin needs to repair itself like amino acids, amino acids. and even cholesterol really? yes a lot of people hate cholesterol or fat which is a very very wrong sort of an ideology because yeah. um, your cells are made up of amino acids and fat that builds up a whole entire new cell. Yes. As your cell divides and provides a new cell, that means you'll be healthy. Yes. Right? But if your cell is unable to divide because it doesn't have the um, required substance it needs to produce a new cell or a new cell membrane, then you will grow old. So you need to provide the substance for your cell to be able to divide and one of the substance you need is amino acids and fat. Yes, but we don't want really bad fats, yes. we want good fats. Good fat. So it's really good to know about can but can we take amino acid from the vitamins or do we have it oh vitamin versus the food which one is the best for our body okay basically what you eat every day um, the meats you eat every day will be broken down within your body into amino acids for uh, absorption so basically um, it is a small uh, particle that builds up into big muscles so it goes like this amino acid peptide, peptide. protein protein collagen Muscle. muscle. So if you eat muscle like uh, pork, beef, chicken, fish, if you eat these um, full of proteins for muscles, in your body it will break the muscles down to collagen, then break it down to protein, then break it down to peptides, then break it down to amino acids. Oh, so you reverse. It will reverse, reverse within your You are so smart. <laughs> And because it breaks all this down, your body will then be able to absorb it within, uh, to it, within uh, your body. Yeah. And it uh, will travel with inside your bloodstream to the places that it needs. And then, as a building block, these amino acids are put together by your body to build the things that you want. Yes. And these are put together because of your DNA. So your DNA actually dictates what kind of proteins you make. 
So mm -hmm. you are you and I am me. I look like me. You look like you because of your DNA. Yes. And so we don't um, have to necessarily um, take a lot of collagen. You just need to take a lot of food that has proteins or even just muscles. So if you eat beef, uh. pork, fish. But of course, we would like to eat healthy, so we would like to you to take um, meats that are much more leaner than it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool beef. Move a little bit. <laughs> no Kobe <cool> beef, right? <laughs> Well, if you want some occasion, you can have some. Um, but what's the most important thing about um, the, these, these amino acids is that you need to get enough every day. Mm. It is not once, you know, taking it once a day. But what yeah. if you are vegan or if you are vegetarian and you don't? Oh yeah, what do you yeah, do? If you, if, you, if, you, if you don't, if you're unable to eat meat, then you can take beans. Tofu. Tofu. Tofu is a very good amino acid um, source you can take. Black beans is also another one uh, you can take. It has full of amino acids. And if you can't take those, um, you can try milk. Milk has a lot of um, proteins in it. Um, not those protein shake, but mm. real milk has protein in it already. So um, absorption, the highest absorption rate is egg. Egg white. Egg white. Yes. So if you have boiled eggs in the morning, you have sufficient proteins you can take. And if you have milk, full cream milk, you don't have to take low fat milk because low fat milk is not much healthier than full cream milk. Really? Really, yes. Um, that's the other thing. People are afraid of fat because um, a lot of people say, well, fat will clog up your artery. Yes. Yes. That's only if you're taking the wrong fat. What's the right fat and what is the wrong fat? The right fat is unsaturated, unsaturated, unsaturated fat. But if you take saturated fats, then it's going to clog up your artery. That is totally different. So what, 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 what constitutes yeah. a unsaturated fat? Well, vegetable oils like olive oils that has unsaturated fat in it. Soluble fat. Yeah. Yes. And the difference between a soluble fat and uns I mean. What were the, not the soluble part, the unsaturated fat and the saturated fat is when you put the fat inside a fridge, if it freezes and becomes a solid, then it has more saturated fats. You know Chinese mom, they always keep the zhu yu, pork, yes. pork oil. Pork oil, yeah. That's so bad, but it's so good. It is so good, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that's sometimes not too much. Yes, well that's just a basic way yeah. to, you know, to, to realize whether or not the fat so you're taking is saturated or yeah. unsaturated. But that's not 100% correct. Mm -hmm. Because, um, well, but the American Heart Association used to say one of the fat that is really, really bad, well not the fat, oil that's really, really bad, but it comes from vegetable. Oh, wow. Yes, the, the worst fat are the 100% saturated fat or have very high saturation like coconut oil. People eat a lot of coconut oil in Southeast Asia. That's not good. It can also freeze. Yeah. Yes, it has a lot and a lot of saturated fat. It is even higher than the saturated fat in beef and pork. Wow. Beef and pork has around 80% uh, to 90% saturated fat. But coconut oil has 90% plus saturated fat, so it's even worse. So, so sometimes now, <laughs> vegetable, I mean, it sounds better, but it's not really that healthy. It's not, even yeah. though it's, if it comes from a uh, vegetable, you think it's healthier? No, yeah. it's not. Well, the best oil that comes out is from nuts. Um, almond oil. Almond oil. Almond oil is very, very good for you. Um, you can try different kind of nuts, um, but a lot of people may be allergic to nuts. So you need to be good luck. Yeah, well, That's what I say. good luck. Well, you can try olive oil. I mean, a lot of people, are, I'm sure, in, all around the world, use olive oil. Olive oil, oil yes. Well, olive oil, you can eat it, and you can even apply in your skin. It yes. helps you because it has a lot of antioxidants and it has a lot of um, unsaturated fat inside to help you rebuild your body. Um, your body does not store unsaturated fat. Unsaturated. Um, MCT will be, will be absorbed and turn into um, heat to Energy. maintain your body uh, temperature. So MCT is a, uh, we have a long chain and there's a medium chain and a short chain. 
So MCT is a medium chain. So medium chain unsaturated fat is the best you can find, but it's very difficult to find. And where can I find it? Well, uh, well, a lot of a lot of a lot of things. the viewers are saying, yes, Grace, where can I buy it? Okay, if you take olive oil and you drink olive oil or you eat it with your salad, in your body it will break the long chain into medium and short chain for you to absorb. And these are still unsaturated MCT, which is very, very good for you. Avocado oil is very good for you as well. Avocado oil um, is quite big in the United States and South, East, uh, South America. Yeah. Uh, now it's all around the world. And so um, avocado oil is also another choice, although it's long chain. But once it gets inside your body, into your digestive system, it is broken down into MCT, unsaturated MCT, which means it doesn't clog your blood vessels and it doesn't store in your body. It is used up immediately when it goes into the body and it produces your heat. Heat and its energy. Yes, it maintains. And it's very important that you do take fatty acids, which is um, non-saturated fatty acids because your heart run on fatty acids not sugar but i have no idea I'm exactly no on exactly stuff. so if you don't eat right you will feel a little fatigue yeah you don't have energy so you need to take all these in your body so if you want your skin to reflect how you feel inside you must be eating correctly so a lot of people wants to lose a little bit of weight or a lot of people want to maintain um, their weight so they say well cut out that cut out that and cut out a lot of things um yes cut out all the bad things of course but leave the good things like me mct mct unsaturation concentration unsaturation always comes first not mct coming first okay uh. You must have unsaturation, then you can look at long chain, short chain, or medium chain. Are you guys taking notes? Yes, take, take notes. Note. Yes. So Dish oil. Dish oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Avocado oil. But you say uh, for the olive oil, it's actually good to eat the raw or vegetable, right? Instead of cooking them. Oh. That doesn't matter. You need to make sure that if it's an extra virgin olive oil, it's supposed to be served. Cold. cold it's not supposed to be heated but if you want to really heat, what well, extra virgin olive oil is not supposed to be heated it's supposed to be taken cold with your salad oh my god i used that to cook my egg well then you have changed unsaturation into saturated fat you have converted Why into are a you telling me this two years ago <sighs> thanks <laughs> no i know <laughs> if you want to deep fry or if you want to use good oil to fry Use avocado oil. It can sustain up to 300 degrees to 600 degrees Celsius without even changing its structure. And it's good for you too. It's good for you. Wow, I learned so much today, Mr. Dr. Chen. Yes. So, to keep your skin, rather than applying things on it, you need to have your body looking great. And to have your body looking great, you must eat correctly. That yes, but if you're not eating correctly, if you're not eating at all, or if you're on junk food all the time, or if you're on um, processed oh, all processed, the time, hold on, hot pot. So so true. But but if you're gonna do your own hot pot, then you can do it a yeah. lot healthier yeah. with um, ingredients that are not more, a lot more healthier yeah. than what you would do. But cut down on the processed food because processed food needs a lot of preservatives. That's bad to, for you. Yeah, that's very, very bad for you. And for it to look good, they might have artificial coloring in it. And these artificial coloring are not very good for you either. So have something that's very natural. And if you can prepare the food yourself, it will be fantastic. Mm. I learned so much. Thank yes. you. No problem. <laughs> any, anything else? We, any, any last minute tip? So we talk about the dark fruits for antioxidant. M M I N M C T M C T the oil the chain yes and the one last 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 point which everybody must know is to sleep well oh. you must sleep I do that really well yes beauty sleep you 
always heard of beauty sleep. So because there's, really, there's a time, really, a beauty sleep time. What, what, time. There is no certain time of a beauty sleep, but getting enough rest. Well, with medicine, we are talking about a very deep sleep. The quality of sleep is better than the time, time. the quantity of sleep. Okay. So if you can get really good quality of sleep, you will feel very, very energized and charged when you wake up. But if you have really, really bad sleep, and even though you have the quantity, you still wake up very tired. tired. And if you have... Me. Really? Yeah. So you might say, well, I have 12 hours of sleep, but I still wake up very tired. Honey, you might have depression. <laughs> That's a different doctor. <laughs> That's a totally different thing, but I'm only kidding. I'm just saying, but if you have a really, really good quality of sleep, you'll find your skin will be a lot shinier, a lot better, and you'll find that not only your skin will look great, you will actually feel that your digestive system, your endocrine system, and all the other system with your body be working just fine. There is nothing wrong with you, it's just that you're not getting enough sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes simple things like that we take it for granted and, and you, we complain why we're not better. So yeah. just do the right thing, be healthy, and watch my channel so you learn a lot today, right? So thank you so much. No You're problem. so nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, it's really great. They're gonna they're gonna ask me a lot of questions. I have no clue what that is. I'll just forward it to you. So, sure. Um, ask anything you like to know, and uh, I'm sure Mr. Jen Oing Wan and myself will be able to answer your questions and help with you to live more healthily yes. and, most importantly, looking better. So um, <laughs> I'm, uh, don't forget to follow all my social media right here. I'm going to put Dr. Chen's Facebook, Liam Facebook, right? Yeah. I'm going to put his link below. Uh, even as in Chinese, but clearly he speaks better English than I do. So he can do English for you guys. All right. Thank you. Great. Yeah, I learned a lot. I'm going to have amazing skin. I'm going to throw it on. I really cook a with extra virgin oil every day. I thought that was good. So that's not good. I learned that. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Say bye to you.